Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the product exe admin panel I'm going to show you how to install it and use it. It's pretty simple. So let's just get straight into it Okay, first things first. I'm just gonna show you how to actually get this now I've left this in the description. All you gotta do is click get model here for me It says try and studio because I've already got it in my inventory All you gotta do is just click on get model now it should pop up in my models and all you got to do is you just got to drag it in i've already dragged it in and it should have four folders and one main folder so for the first one you have to unfold in replicated storage so you just have to drag it into replicated storage and do control u and then text chat service you have to also press control u and then in starter gui you know on and on and on and then you can just delete the main folder and workspace so there are a couple things that you need to alter. So the first thing you need to alter is in server script service, you have to go in the permitted user IDs. You can duplicate this ID so you have as many people as you need as many times as you need to. So I'm just going to quickly grab my user ID real quick. That's my user ID and you can see what the player can actually do. So can ban, can change server privacy, can change team, you know, on and on and on and you can also do rank ids which is the group so you just have to put in your group id i'm just gonna get my group id hold on that's my group id and then you just have to get the rank id which i'm pretty sure it's 254 for the admin but i'm just gonna check yeah so for the admin for me it's 254 and for the owner it's 255 and that's just for me you might have different group and i'm pretty sure i'm not sure if this is right or not but you can use different groups to use it so i'm not sure if that's how it is you guys will just have to test it out for me okay so there's one last thing that you do need to do you need to publish the game so you can access you know the remote servers and, and so on and so on i'm gonna call this admin panel and just click on save okay so now this is published you want to go on file and then game settings and then you want to go down to security so you want http requests which is the remote servers api services i'm pretty sure data stores don't really matter for this but yeah i'm pretty sure that's about it if i click on play now nothing really shows up and no one would actually know that is here unless you type in exe in the chat you can do exe or you can just press f2 if you're on like mobile that is probably when you're gonna have to do forward slash exe i can see all the players in the server if i was in a public server i could see all the listed players and i could do a lot of things to them I could kick them, ban them, notify them, jail them, follow, bring them to me. I can change their health, their jump, their walk speed, if they're invisible or not. And you can see what team they're in. But if we click on the three lines at the top here, there's like three pages. So the first one is the players, which is this tab. And the second one is the dashboard where you can see the server privacy, the effects you can give people, the tools, uh, the custom commands, which you can make in the Explorer. You can revoke a ban, global ban, manage ban players and server announce. The server privacy is where you can change the privacy of the server. You can see how long the server's been up. You can change it to public, panel holders only and private. If I go in the developer console, you will see that a product exe holder joined. So it recognized that I was the ID of the player that could actually access this. So if I click on panel holders only, players are now unable to join except from the panel holders. So if you wanted to join like a developer server and you didn't want anyone else to, it's very useful. And then you can set all these, you know, public, private. Yeah. And then you could shut down the server. You can manage bans, you can give effects to people, which is really cool because all you have to do is just drag it and then boom, you get the effect. It's actually kind of cool. But I can do a global ban so a player not in my server can actually get banned. This is very useful if you found like a hacker or a hacker group. And yeah, it's just very useful. And then the last one is the credits. This I would leave in the game just if you're planning on to release this to the public i would leave this in just because the only person that's going to see it are the developers and no one else is going to see it unless they have the id or a rank 
So I'll just leave that in. It really doesn't matter. That's kind of about it. If you want to see more videos like this, please do give a like and subscribe as it really does help the channel out. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.